I've got a quick one for you today. It deals with the rights to copy sheet music for use in a school setting. Stay tuned. Phil is a school vocal music instructor who asks, if I purchase 30 pieces of choral music for use in my classroom, am I allowed to make 30 copies of that music to distribute to students so that they can annotate and edit according to our performance guidelines? When the performance is complete, we would then destroy all 30 copies. Well, Phil, I'm sorry, but this is a no-go. When you buy a printed copy of sheet music, you get the right to do certain things, like read, study, and practice the music. Heck, you even get to sell those specific copies under something called the First Sale Doctrine. But what you don't get is the right to make additional copies, even if you plan to destroy them later. That's copyright infringement, plain and simple. If you get caught, the consequences can be pretty significant. When I was in school, we were taught to make our notations and markings on sheet music in pencil, and then to erase those markings when we were done with the charts after the concert or whatever. And I think that's still the recommended best practice today. Hey, if you like this question and answer series, I hope you'll subscribe to the YouTube channel using the button below. And if you have a question you'd like me to answer, go over to firemark.com questions.